Hey everybody, Peter from Oboe's Footwear here with Josh in Lindley Park in Bozeman, Montana, right across from our office. We're gonna talk about how to properly measure somebody's foot uh, in our little pop-up stand here in the park. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have the customer um, sit, take off their shoes, and um, I'm gonna say, may I touch your foot? Yes. Because uh, you wanna make sure that it's okay to touch your foot. They may have injuries or things like that, or they may just not want to be touched. So please place your foot in the Brannock device. Make sure the heel is up against the back and make sure that uh, you're looking straight over the top of the foot so that you're not away from it on an angle. And Josh is measuring approximately a nine. We look at the arch length and the arch length is about a 10 and a half or so, and remember the bar comes up against the side, back it off about a credit card or two, and we use the actual length, which is a nine, follow nine down on the Brannock device, and it's almost an E, so it's a slightly wide foot. Um, and then we ask the customer to stand up. Please stand for me. And often when a customer does that, he does exactly what Josh did here with his foot back. You wanna make sure that the foot feet are even and the shoulder and the hip and the knee and the ankle are all lined up. You could see when Josh stood up, his foot went over a nine and a half. It's almost a 10. The arch length has jumped up to an about an 11. And the width has remained the same at about an E, a D plus E. So, um, and I have completely forgotten. <laughs> we have a visitor in the park. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Where's your mom and your daddy? So with that nine and a half foot, that 11 size arch, I'm gonna split that difference and start showing him uh, probably a 10 or a 10 and a half. And that's how to measure somebody's foot properly.